Hey guys, happy Sunday and happy Pride. Today is the actual day of the Pride Parade, which we never go to, but um, there's also various parties and events around the city. And we will be attending one called Blocko. That is what I am getting ready to do right now. I just got out the shower, you guys. I'm exhausted. Like, I just cannot keep up the way I used to, girl. But I've said this a million times, Toronto summers are short and if you don't get out you will regret it because once winter hits nobody wants to be outside so i'm forcing myself to attend everything that i am invited to literally yesterday was a great time though we had a great time on the boat um i did get seasick but luckily it was right at the end pretty much um so i was able to enjoy the entire boat ride right until the end thank goodness and Ooh, excuse me that's my boo thing calling so after the boat party we went to oh half had a video shoot um so it was a video shoot slash party very cool like chill vibe so it was just a long day of partying so i'm exhausted today you guys can see my dark circles kicking um marley's home though you guys she is knocked out I think she's just gonna sleep all day because when dogs are nervous or unsettled they don't really rest well um, so I'm sure being at the sitter's house overnight took a lot out of her she did really well though and I'm really happy I'm much happier with this sitter than the sitter that I used last year if you guys remember it was her first time at a sitters um, last year they have a smaller home so it, I just feel like it's more comfortable for Marley like not as overwhelming with so much space she has one little dog as opposed to the other sitter had multiple dogs in the home um, and Marley doesn't like large dogs in particular so I just feel like she was a lot more scared at the first home but this one is just her and the little Chewini who is uh, so cute really really reminds me of my mom's dog Miko who passed but super energetic though that's the only thing that you know Marley doesn't like because Marley is uh, a senior, very chill, doesn't like high energy around her, and the Chewini is two years old. So, other than that, though, I'm pretty happy and I definitely will be using their services again. I think I'm going to pick just a random day in July um, just so that it becomes almost a part of a routine for her. She knows that she's safe there she knows that i'm coming back and you know i have plans coming up in the future a couple overnights so now i have somewhere that i'm comfortable leaving her um so yeah i'm really happy with that anyways girl let me go put myself together i have no idea what i'm gonna wear but i'm gonna do my face first okay update i love this oil you guys i shared this oil with you in my last supportive sister haul it's by miel organics or I guess it's just called Miel now. I, just, I guess they dropped the organics. I didn't notice that. But anyways, Miel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. And it says it's infused with biotin and encourages growth for daily use, scalp treatment, and split end care. Um, for me personally, it's just a very soothing oil. So particularly if you're a braid wearer or a wig wearer like myself... And make sure you're treating this your scalp underneath your styles and so this really provides like a soothing feel with the peppermint so I really enjoy that she's still there anyways I have no idea what I'm gonna wear today um, this party is outside so obviously you want to be cool and comfortable it's hot outside although it is raining a little bit i do have a t-shirt with a rainbow on it so since it's pride related i might wear it it's just a regular men's tee it's just a regular t-shirt so maybe i'll cut it into a crop and wear it with some denim shorts not sure but that's option number one and I'm sorry guys, I didn't make up my bed this morning, like I said, late night. Tayad. Option number two, I have this green 
two piece set. It's like this super cute little crop top and a skirt that I got from Ardeen's. And so that's option number two. And then my third option is another two piece set. This one is in a neon or lime green. And it's like biker shorts and this oversized tee and this jersey material. So I'd probably just like, you know, do a little knot, something like that. What do you think? One, two, or three? Let me know. Look who's awake. Oh my goodness. Good morning. So here's outfit number one. Cute and casual. Um, I don't have a bra on and I didn't crop it yet. But anyways, you get the picture. Option number two. The little two-piece sets. And option three, my neon green set, which I kind of like because the booty is popping, okay? The booty is popping in these shorts, girl. Final fit check. and young and this is where the blocko event is happening so you can see i am now in a long line of black people <laughs> this is the party that black people go to and um yeah we walked through the parade a little bit to get here so you guys got a little snippet of that <laughs> recovering from pride weekend we had i had the best pride weekend it was so much fun um hanging out with um my crew and attending all the events that we went to i got to catch up with some people i haven't seen in a while um met a subscriber shout out to francine she was so cute um and yeah, just overall had a really good time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the vlog. Still rocking my ponytail, of course. Still looks great. Love it. Shout out to hair by half. Um, I'm just adding some oil to my scalp. Because, you know, it is exposed to the sun. When you have cornrows. This is the oil I'm using. Been loving. The Miel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. Bought it a little while back. I'll link it down below. It's just oh, so refreshing and has a nice minty scent. Anyways, I thought we would start the day with some PR, y'all. Let's get into it. There's Marley. Y'all say hello to Marley. You good, Marley? You being such a good girl? Let's show them what we got. 
All right, so this is a box that I received from Chatelaine and Fashion. Um, basically what they do is they compile a bunch of beauty experts in the industry and rate the 80 must try um, items. Um, so this is called their Beauty Awards of 2022. So I'm very excited to see what we got. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And the award winning products inside your box. One, two, three, four, five. So it looks like there's 10 products. We got a Chatelaine magazine as well. Okay, we got Clairol Natural Instincts. This is a hair color, vegan hair color in number four, dark brown. Hmm, interesting that coincides with weave colors, but anyways. We got the Pureology Purple Shampoo. Oh, I'm gonna give this to my sister. My sister is a blonde, uh, blonde baldy. So she'll look like this. Um, I got the Strom. Skincare, oh, exfoliating wash. Oh, body scrub. Here we go. Some skincare by, what's this brand called? Strivectin. Advanced Retinol Nightly Renewal Serum. Naughty Wave Hello Curl Defining Shampoo. Awesome. I have natural hair, so I can use this. Some more Purology. This is their strengthening. Uh, yeah, again, purple shampoo. Or conditioner, sorry. Shea Moisture Full Beard Detangler. That's pretty cool. I'm super excited to try this. This is a lash and brow serum. Some skincare by Belief. This is their Aqua Bomb Overnight Lip Mask. Yes. Want to try this. Last but not least, um, by Evio Skin, a lip serum. And this is in Hemp and Peppermint. So thank you so much to Fashion and Chatelaine for sending this PR box over to me. I can't wait to try out all my goodies. Okay, next up is emails. Alright, start with a quick thank you email to say thank you for the PR box. Okay, I got a reminder from the courier that they are closed. This Friday, you guys, is a long weekend. It is Canada Day on July 1st, which is a Friday here. And July 4th is a holiday for you all in the U.S., which is on a Monday. That means from the Friday to the Monday, no shipping. Like, it's federal holidays on both sides of the border. So I'm going to actually go get something to eat and get some work done today and make sure I can get all my packages out by Thursday before the, um, the long weekend kicks in for the both of us. All right, I've managed to make it downstairs, so I thought I would give you guys some updates on my plants. Here is my plant shelf. So Pearl, you guys remember my string of pearls? She's been relocated. She's upstairs now, as well as my Peperomia. This is how my kitchen plant shelf is now looking. Less plants, so it's kind of more, you know, curated or decor-like. I also took Nancy down. She's sitting on the table. She's kind of not doing that well. Like she's growing but she's losing leaves so i didn't really like the look of her up there took her down i'm really happy with how it looks now except i'm just gonna get two planters to put the clay pots inside of so that it blends a little bit more either white or gold so the bad news the bad news you guys have been waiting to hear is that zoe died zoe is normally here zoe is my prayer plant she was with us for a year she was thriving so much that she actually grew out of her nursery pot. Like her roots actually pushed her out of it and she fell over in the night. So when I got up, I immediately repotted her into a larger pot and she didn't survive the replanting. So unfortunately, she went into shock and died. So in her place sitting over here on the counter, which is climbing, is my neighbor. If you guys remember my neighbor, hold on. My neighbor started as a leaf in this little propagation station that I bought. If you guys remember, sometime last year, I can't remember exactly when, but just look. Just look how huge it is now. So I just um, decided to move her over to this area because this area was looking very sparse without my Zoe. So now my neighbor is here. She's not my favorite plant, but I mean, oh my God. Mm -hmm. She, <laughs> but I'm gonna let her just sit here for now and chill out and see how I feel about her. 
and even MJ outside is growing. Can't show you guys that too long because YouTube be acting up. All right, breakfast time. I'm making an egg and tomato sandwich and Miley is waiting patiently outside the kitchen where she belongs, good girl. I'm about to make my tea right now. Usually I'm a Tetley girl, but lately, lately I've really been enjoying red rose for some reason. So I'm on my red rose tip this morning. All right, y'all. You already know what time it is. It's time for The Office. Oh, there's a new movie so out that I want to watch awesome. because it's called The Man from Toronto. It's so funny because <laughs> everybody's roasting this movie on, you know, Canadian Twitter because everybody in the movie says Toronto, like they pronounce the second T, whereas people from Toronto say Toronto, like we don't, we kind of blend it together. So they're like, they couldn't consult with one person from Toronto? But I still want to watch it because y'all already know what it is. I rep it for my city. Anyways, let's watch The Office. <laughs> Productive day so far, you guys. I put my, <laughs> my hair up because um, I was working and, you know, I just wanted it out the way. So pretty productive. I processed about 30 orders. Now I'm taking a break for lunch. I'm just going to make a sandwich. Remember those pieces of chicken that my mom gave me from her freezer? Yeah, those are the leftover pieces. So I'm going to whip up a quick sandwich. A sandwich for lunch. Light a candle. This is uh, grapefruit. Nice, fresh, clean scent for summer. Completed processing 50 orders. I will ship those out tomorrow. Disappointed in my grapefruit candle because it smells like nothing, so that kind of sucks. And Marley is knocked out. I forgot my camera downstairs, so I am back on my phone. Um, finished working for the day, got a lot done, so pat on the back for me. I even made dinner. This made like a veggie pasta dish. Really simple, something kind of light. And um, now I'm debating debating it's so beautiful outside what i want to do but i want to come tell you guys about this interaction that i had with a i'll call her former tonette because i blocked her so i posted this meme let me get, let me show you the meme first I think I, t I talked about this in my talk and twist about people hate watching because you can tell by the way they communicate with you that they clearly don't like you and they're here for no other reason just to like watch what you're doing. So I post this lighthearted, hilarious meme about groceries, about the fact that grocery stores should have carts in the middle of the store because why I always got 10,000 items when I went in there for one. I said, I didn't even make the meme, I just found it. She responds to the meme and says, your fridge is always empty. You only have $30 worth of food. You don't need a cart. Fine, fair. I tell you guys all the time, I eat all my food until the fridge is empty and then grocery shop, right? So I say, LOL. And I Google $30 of groceries and screenshot the picture of it for her. It's like 12 to 15 items. Meaning, yeah, still need a cart, can't carry 15 items. She responds to the picture of me showing her what $30 of food looks like. Because remember, she's the one that said I only have $30 worth of food in my fridge. She responds by saying, y'all's food is so bland. It's no wonder your fridge is always empty. To the meme about grocery stores having grocery carts. Fine. So I'm um, fine. Maybe she's one of those people that, you know, speaks to everybody like they're her brethren. You know what I mean? So I say, let me match the energy. So I match her energy. I say, LOL. 
I don't have She-Hulk arms like you, so I need the cart girl. Then she want to get mad. <laughs> then she want to get mad. Like, it's it's always LOL when people are being disrespectful to me. But then when I match the energy, it's an issue. It's an issue. So then she want to get mad talking about hella defensive. That she doesn't have She-Hulk arms, which is obviously something that somebody with She-Hulk arms would say, first of all. Um, but then she wants to say... You should get your girlfriend half to carry your groceries. My husband carries mine for me. So I say, I don't need my girlfriend to carry my groceries. I got a cart, like the joke said. And then I blocked her because hate watchers. Hate watchers gonna hate y'all. People just wanna hate watch and be assholes to lighthearted internet content. I thought you guys would find that funny, so I thought I would share that with you. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to figure out, I think I am going to go outside. It's so beautiful out.